Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I made these sketches with the new Krita watercolor brushes. And if you are as impatient as I am, I can tell you my thoughts already. They are amazing, they are the best watercolor brushes out there to date, hands down. Just one clarification, I am quite new in digital painting, so I don't have a drawing tablet yet. Everything you are going to see was made with my old mouse. This is important because the behavior of the brushes changed with a mouse, so I couldn't use them at its full potential. Nevertheless, if you don't have a drawing tablet either, you can use them just as fine as you will see. Saying that, let's begin. For the first one, I wanted something very sketchy. Like if I was speed painting with watercolors in a small sketchbook on the street. I say speed painting, but it took me more than I thought. I marked a simple drawing to get the proportions and then start to paint. I tried to do it in the same way I would do it with traditional media. So I tried to go from light to dark valleys, working with layers. I noticed the watercolor look straight away. All the effects, the patterns, the blending and the edges these brushes can make are really good. At this point I was just having a lot of fun trying every brush. I used the big water spread for the sky. For the water I used the basic round brush and the flat big grain brush to create the ripples. Right, uh, now I went for details in the building and I used the basic line brushes for that. I really like them, they feel like painting with a very thick paint or a dry brush and they even feel like colored pencils if you like. Very useful if you want to create uh, textures. I keep using them here for the gondola and then I just made a small color correction and here is the first sketch. For this portrait I made the background by putting colour with the flat grain on the water spread brushes and then I create this dripping effect with the basic round grain brush. This brush is my favourite and as you can see it behaves like real watercolour. This basic round brush is really powerful and I use it a lot. For example here I create the shadows in the eyes with this night grading effect. The methodology I followed for this sketch was just use the basic round brush to cover big areas. Then I use the water spread brushes to add color and repeat over and over again. Like right now you can see how I'm adding red, green and uh, some purple to the shadows and then darkening again always aiming to get the value right and a nice color harmony. Now at this point you can see how I cover this huge area uh, in the face and then I control the transparency of the paint by passing the brush several times in some areas in a single stroke. Here you can see the before and after of that stroke. This is incredibly powerful. Uh, the control you have is amazing and remember that I am using a mouse. Um, I can only imagine using this brush with pressure sens sensibility. At this point I was just adding details, some light and shadows here and there, repeating the methodology I used. I really like this area of the face, the shadow from the hair. Again, I did it with the water spread texture brush. And here I started to put some highlights uh, with the basic line brush, adding some texture as well, very similar to colored pencils or a dry brush like in the previous one. And finally, I adjust the colors and put some final details in the hair and this was the final result. For this one I wanted to try and create a really smooth transition and I found out that the water basic lines wet pattern brush 
man with a long name for a brush. And the water pattern brush were perfect for that. I put the color with the basic lines brush and blend just a bit with the water pattern brush. The first brush creates really nice edges and texture as well. But you could lose texture if you insist too much with the stroke. I really like sketches like this uh, where you can play a lot with greys and put a lot of different tones or shades of color. I really like the variation in color in the mountains I get. I started to paint the cows and it was really easy to create this look of dry paint strokes for the legs and the head. But at this point I realized that the whole piece didn't look very watercolorish. It looks really nice, but something was off. I thought about why and I realized that it was because I was using opaque colors. So even with watercolor brushes, the look I was getting was more like acrylics or tempera or any opaque water-based painting, but not watercolor. Anyway, I keep working and despite of that, I really like this one. The final result was quite realistic but with a painterly look that is quite appealing. Now, let me show you what I mean with opaque and transparent paint. If you have paint already on the paper and if you put a lighter color on top of it, if that color is opaque, it will cover the color below. But that does not happen with watercolor or transparent paint. So to achieve a more realistic representation of watercolor, I changed the blending mode of the brush to multiply and lower the opacity to about 50%. That's because the multiply effect can be too strong. Painting in this way felt even more close to the real experience of watercolor and a proof of that is that it became really hard to paint and I remember I am really bad with real watercolors. Still I wanted to try these settings so I went for another portrait. I used the same approach with this one. The only difference was that because of the blending mode you can only go from light to dark bodies, again like in real watercolor. Also with this blending mode, the colors appear more brilliant, especially if you use a high color saturation. I try to let the brighter areas untouched, or use the eraser, like here where I needed the flowers to be white. I like when a program allows you to work in the same way you would with a real thing like a really good painting simulator. I really like these shadows in the clothes, again using the basic round brush, each one with a single stroke. Painting like this is definitely harder. I had to watch some watercolor tutorial videos on YouTube and I found really good ones. Now I am inspired to try it. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope it was useful for you. I want to say thank you to Ramon Miranda he created these brushes and put a lot of time and effort to make them work with a mouse. So thanks a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and also to go to the Krita channel for more information about the brushes and about Krita. Farewell everyone.